Hello and welcome to this presentation of 3CX Phone System, our new product. My name is Nick Galia and I'm the CEO of 3CX. 3CX Phone System is a software-based IP PBX that frees the PABX from dedicated hardware and proprietary phones. Instead, we've built a system based on open standards that runs as a service on Windows and works with all popular SIP phones, VoIP gateways and VoIP providers. Now you can have an IP phone system that's much easier to manage and more scalable. Before I show you 3CX phone system, I'd like to give you a brief rundown of the benefits of an IP PBX. First of all, there is no need for separate phone wiring. All the voice data is transported over the data network. So if you're setting up a new office, you don't need to invest in the additional network points for phones. That's going to save you a lot of money, time and hassle. An extension is linked to a phone, not to a network point. If an employee needs to move offices, Network administrators don't need to patch cables and things like that. The employee just takes their phone and they can have their extension wherever they will be. That makes it much easier for the administrator. There is no vendor lock-in. Uh, you can mix and match any SIP gateway, SIP phone or SIP provider with any SIP-based IP phone system. So if you wish to change vendors along the way, no problem. This also makes it much more scalable because if you want to add more extensions, you just add more SIP phones on the network. Or if you want to add more lines, you can either get more lines from your provider or get an additional gateway and plug in more PSTN lines. It's that easy. There's no need for proprietary extension modules. With an IP PBX, you can easily enable hot tasking. If employees need to work in a different office for a few days because they're working in a, in a group, it's no problem. They can take their extension with them. They simply take their phone, plug it into the nearest network point. Likewise, they can actually take their extension home. If they're using a software-based tip phone that's running on their notebook, for example, they log into the corporate network and they can pick up their extension. This makes teleworking seamless and really gives employees a lot of flexibility. Also, we're running on Windows, so we're running right next to the major corporate applications such as ERP, CRM and even Active Directory. Because we can integrate much easier with these applications, we can deliver improved productivity and improved efficiency. Installing 3CX phone system is easy. You just go to the 3CX website at 3CX.com and you click on the download link here. Then you need to enter your details. And submit to download the file. <coughs> 3CX phone system is only about 16 megabytes, so it's a quick download. So to launch, just click on the executable here, save it to disk, and after it's downloaded, launch that setup file. And then there are a few questions that are asked, like install location, um, how many extension numbers you want. And after that, the system is installed, the services are installed, and you can launch into the management console, which is web-based, from anywhere on your network. And that's the next step that I'll show you. I'll go into the management console and show you how easy it is to set up extensions and phone lines. After 3CX phone system has been installed, it launches you into the management console, which is web-based, and we'll just log into it. And this takes you into the introduction page, which is shown the first time you run 3CX phone system and it gives you an idea what you still need to do. And what we need to do is create extensions and phone lines. So we'll start off with the extensions and we'll, to do that, we'll just click on the add link here at the side and this adds an extension. So by default, it'll suggest hundreds. We'll accept the default for now. I'll type in my name and then you need to 
enter an authentication ID and password. So I'll do that. Now these authentication and ID password is what you need to enter in your SIP phone. And it's used by the phone to register against the 3CX phone system. So we'll uh, take note of those details. And then we'll configure voicemail. Now this is a very good feature because 3CX phone system can email the voicemail to your email inbox. So there's no need to check the voicemail from your phone. So we want that feature, so let's enable it. So to do it, I just select this option, send as attachment and delete from inbox, and I'll enter my email address. So we're actually done. We can set some advanced options, like what happens when I don't answer my extension or if my extension is busy. And then I click OK to create the extension, and we're done. Now, I can create extensions one by one, or I can import them from a file, which I could, for example, export all users from Active Directory and import them in batch mode into the 3CX phone system. It's that easy. Now, after I've created the extensions, I need to create lines uh, to be able to place and receive phone calls. I can choose to create PSTN lines or VoIP lines. Now, PSTN lines would be regular fixed telephony lines, and you would connect those to a VoIP gateway. A VoIP gateway is a network device that converts analog voice to digital so that it can travel on your network. Or I could add VoIP lines, and VoIP lines are provided by VoIP providers, which basically do the same thing as a VoIP gateway, but they do that at their end, and then they send the voice over your internet connection. There are many VoIP providers, they all use the SIP protocol, and they can provide very competitive packages, usually in the area of, for example, $10 per month, which gives you one or more lines and unlimited calling. So it's quite attractive to use a VoIP provider. So in this example, let's use a VoIP provider. We'll click on the Add VoIP link here. And then we have to give a name. So we'll add my fictitious provider, my provider. We'll just add a name. And then we're going to add a server name. Now, this will be provided to you by the provider. And it would be called a SIP registrar, a SIP proxy, or outbound proxy. In any case, you have to enter that server name here. So let's do that. Then you can leave the port and the registration attempts default. And then you enter the external number that would have been provided to you by the VoIP provider. So let's enter this fictitious number. Now it will ask you to create an outbound rule. We want to do that. The outbound rule is used so that users of the phone system can make calls on this provider. It's also referred to as a prefix, so we'll use prefix zero. So whenever a user of the phone system presses zero, he'll make an external call via this provider. Then we click next. 3CX phone system will now suggest an authentication ID and an authentication password. Now, these are probably not correct. You have to use the ones provided by your VoIP provider. And then 3CX phone system will register against the VoIP provider. Similar to what an extension does against 3CX phone system, 3CX phone system has to register with the VoIP provider. And when that's done, we can specify what we want to do with inbound calls. So for example, we can specify during the day, we'd like the, the calls to go to a receptionist, and during the night to a voicemail or automated attendant. I'll leave these defaults here, click Finish, and the line will be created. As you can see, the line is now listed here. We can create many lines. We can mix PSTN lines. We could have different types of VoIP providers. And we can also add DID lines. And DID lines allow us to route an inbound call to a particular extension. This concludes the introduction to 3CX phone system. To find out more, Download the free edition of 3CX Phone System. It's a full featured PBX and supports an unlimited number of extensions. Thank you for watching this presentation.